Hey there, Sharon Horn Elstrom here. Welcome to day 1846 of What You Up To Now. Documenting the journey as I transitioned originally from the brick and mortar corporate world of business, decades in both actually, and running and owning and operating and being the primary principal in at least 27 different businesses and industries before switching to the online world following my divorce in 2015. 2016 was separating assets and untangling the web that our lives had become. And then in 2017, I had the opportunity to say, okay, well, what do I want to do now? Actually, the end of 2016, early 2017. I don't take a long time to make decisions and choices about things, but I hopped online and started learning and growing and figuring out how to build and supersize businesses online as well as offline and both. Because I think the power is in both having a physical presence and a physical business as well as having an online presence so you can really supersize and grow your offline business. So, uh, and you know, you can do one or the other or both, but I think that you can in really uh, enhance your business by doing both. It gives you an opportunity to, to physically have a whole lot of things that you can use and resources to create content, etc. online. So today our topic for supersizing your business, since I have a group that helps people to grow and build and supersize their business and every day I like to share an idiom and I like to take that idiom and it usually isn't business related but I like to say well how would this relate what would it mean how could I use it to grow and build and supersize my business and help other people to do the same so we talked about being on top of the world now being on top of the world is a good one and for some people it's Super Bowl Sunday so you're on top of the world because it's you get to experience something that you like we used to watch the Super Bowl but I haven't been a football fan for a long time so I'm on top of the world because I had a new granddaughter this morning my, my third granddaughter was born this morning I don't know her name or anything but I haven't seen a picture of her and I'm super excited to meet her I'm also hanging out with her sister while her parents are in the hospital so that's exciting and that puts me on top of the world as well because she's an amazing little human being so what has you in your life or in your business we talked about it with respect to business but in your life feeling excited and positive and hopeful our topic for this year's annual challenge the get your goals annual challenge was a tool called the flip switch and I talked about how do we use that to feel the emotions we want to feel more often in our life learned it from Lynn Grabhorn who is the author of excuse me your life is or I guess she's passed away now so she was the author and still still available today on Amazon and all over excuse me your life is waiting and the companion workbook I actually love the companion workbook for that because it makes me be engaged in the tools and the strategies she teaches and shares uh, I've gone through it several times in my life now and the last time I started it was during one of these challenges I think in 2021 maybe and I still haven't finished it because I make myself go through it one exercise at a time and when I hit an exercise that's hard for me I avoid doing it and by avoiding doing it I keep myself stuck in that place in the book until I work up the energy to go through and do that exercise and I found every time that I've gotten stuck on an exercise like that once I do it once I make myself do it I usually do it really quickly and then the rest of the the process goes pretty automatically for me but that's the exact exercise I needed at the time that and that's why it was giving me a, a pause to and I was procrastinate and put off doing that particular one. So if you ever want to change anything in your life and you're open to other ways of thinking and possibility, it's a great personal development series. The book's excellent. The workbook is outstanding. So I highly recommend it. Anyway, I digress. I am going to go and hang out with my two-year-old granddaughter. She just turned two this last Monday and have an amazing day. I probably won't watch Super Bowls, but that's my choice. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.